morning, Arlington. Today is Friday, October 18th. I'm Evie Thorsonson, along with Lily Gannon, and this is your school news. Attention seniors, the information packet for seniors in the city trip is available now in your house office. Sign-ups are today after school. You are encouraged to sign up with your group of friends to be on the same bus together. There would be no switching of buses once you have signed up. Seniors, are you having trouble with your common application? Do you need help with school links? Drop in the, into the LGI Wednesday, October 23rd from 1.30 to 3, and we can help through the basics of your college common app, SUNY app, or school links. Attention freshman class. The election for your freshman class president is this week. Your candidates are Semia Hafiz and Jalea Garcia. Join today in your global class. Vote today in your global class. And now here's Evie with the rest of your news. This year's boys swim team informational meeting will be on Wednesday, October 23rd, right after school in room 1315. All are welcome. Speaking of sports, now here's Jack with this week's sports update. What's well, good Arlington, I'm Jack Hammond, here's your sports update. On the soccer field, the boys beat a strong Yorktown team 3-0. With the game being tied at half and Yorktown having been on the front foot, the Admirals had a tough task ahead. But they would rise to the challenge with the three goals blitz from Matt Mazzella, Dylan Manriquez and Declan Gallagher. The boys and girls cross country teams competed at the Burnt Hills Invitational this past week. On the boys side, Arsenio Nachayev would lead the team with a 16.08 5K, while the rest of the boys' top five would dip under 17 minutes. On the girls' side, Molly Poole will run a 5K PR of 20 minutes on the dot and will be closely followed by Madeline Green with a time of 20 minutes and 13 seconds. On Wednesday, the girls' soccer team had their senior night and came away with a 4-1 victory against Carmel. Kate Dwyer would get two goals on the night with Graceland Fultz and Samantha Guckian each getting a goal apiece. The girls' volleyball team swept Carmel this past week in a 3-0 scoreline. Catherine D'Angelo would once again have an outstanding performance with three aces and eight assists. Amelia Georgie would also get herself four kills and six assists, while Destiny Nuazor and Jordan Conrad both had at least two kills. And finally, the boys' football team has their last home game of the regular season today against Suffern. Game time is 6.30, and remember, it's pink out. I'm Jack, and that's your sports for this week, Arlington. That's your news for today, Arlington. Today is a B-day. Have a batty day. Go Admirals! <laughs>